let's talk about our first quantitative reasoning topic, arithmetic. Now, although this sounds somewhat elementary, some of the most difficult questions on this test fall under this umbrella. And to do well on these questions, you have to have a good fundamental understanding of how numbers work. Now, before we really kick things off, I want to highlight one of your most important tools on test day, and that is the calculator. At all times during the quantitative reasoning section, you will have access to a calculator on your computer screen. Now, some test prep programs kind of make a big deal about mental math and say that you shouldn't rely too much on the calculator. I say it's smarter than we are, so you should use it as much as you need, right? Calculators don't make mistakes, humans do. That said, you should know the limitations of the calculator. For one thing, there are only eight digits. So if you get some wild number like two to the power of 37 and you see that on the test, just know that you won't be able to use your calculator to compute that. You're gonna have to find some other creative way to solve it. Additionally, the calculator has a square root button, but it doesn't have a squared button and it doesn't have a cubed button and so on and so forth. 